Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. The V6 gasoline turbocharged direct injection or GTDI engines are equipped with two turbochargers. To help determine which turbocharger may have failed, disconnect and block off the wastegate pressure line on one of the turbochargers. Remember, never disable a turbocharger mechanically. Since the wastegates on the V6 GTDI engines are normally closed, the turbocharger that has been disconnected will build full boost all of the time. Use the Integrated Diagnostic System, or IDS, to control the wastegate solenoid and open the opposite turbocharger wastegate while driving the vehicle. You can monitor boost pressure inputs to see if the isolated turbocharger has the ability to build boost. Reconnect the wastegate pressure line and perform the same procedure with the opposite wastegate line disconnected and blocked off. Both turbochargers should be able to build a similar amount of boost while they are isolated. This test is also especially helpful when diagnosing a noisy turbocharger. It's possible for a noisy turbocharger to be in good working condition but is being overworked in order to compensate for an underperforming turbocharger. If isolating the turbochargers causes a change in noise, inspect the opposing turbo. To identify a mechanically failed or damaged turbo, you need to inspect for component seizure. Check for damaged blades or signs of contact between the blades and the turbo housing. Also, excessive engine oil leaking from the turbocharger body is a sign for concern. Keep in mind that some oil in the charge air cooler tubing is considered normal. After verifying a turbo failure, there are several reasons the damage could have occurred. Some possible causes include debris in the oil from excessive engine wear or damage, restrictions in the oil supply or drain lines from sludge, kinks, damage, a clogged inline filter if the vehicle is equipped with one, or other forms of debris or aftermarket modifications. To find out if debris caused the turbo failure, inspect and flush the turbo lubrication lines. You may need to capture the contents from the flushing procedure in a coffee filter or black plastic cap. The black cap provides the visual contrast needed to see the excess metallic particles suspended in the engine oil. Next, Flush the turbos with clean oil to see if any particles may still be hidden. If debris falls out from either the turbos or lubrication lines, it indicates damage or contamination. The lines and turbocharger should be replaced. If you find significant amounts of metal in the oil supply line leading to the turbocharger, it suggests that an internal engine failure may have occurred that damaged the turbo. It's important to check for signs of lack of maintenance too, such as sludge in the turbocharger, oil supply line, or oil return. Sludge can also accumulate in the internal oil passages of the engine or the engine crankcase. If sludge breaks free, it can reach the turbo lines again, leading to repeat turbocharger failures. Motorcraft ignition coils help ensure proper engine performance, maximize fuel economy, and minimize tailpipe emissions and RFI electronic interference. They also help avoid spark plug failure and drivability complaints. They are the right fit every time for Ford and Lincoln vehicles. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford vehicles. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.